Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new. You guys, I am so tired right now. I, first of all, like I didn't wake up till one o'clock in the afternoon today, which is insane. And then also I had to go to work today and I just got back about like 20 minutes ago or so and I'm just dead. I'm exhausted right now. I'm so tired, but I just had to film this review for you guys. For today's video, I am going to be sharing and reviewing for you guys the all new Bath & Body Works Iced Dragon Fruit Tea 3 Wick Candle from the White Bond white bond from the, the white barn core collection i have nothing but good things about this candle to say so without further ado let's jump in right into this video all right guys so to start off we're going to be talking about the packaging first honestly like i feel like this paint that they put on the glass is literally like brushed because i have noticed just a little bit it's not really like chipping but it does look like it's been brushed on, which is kind of weird, but nothing too crazy. Um, we do have like this dusty rose type of color on it. And then we also have the white barn gold lid. So we have the standard thick rope wicks on the candle itself. I think it's such a sleek look and I'm just loving these gold lids on the new white barn candles. It just looks more expensive, more luxe. And I definitely love that in a candle. So the scent notes are on the front of the candle now on the new ones. and. In this one we have pink dragon fruit green tea and fresh lemonade if you guys have ever had the dragon fruit refresher from Starbucks this smells exactly like that drink which is just so crazy like it's seriously like a replica to the tea just smelling the candle on cold I am definitely getting that dragon fruit scent. I'm definitely getting that Starbucks dragon fruit scent on it as well as the lemonade and on cold I do smell that green tea like in the back. It's like hiding but it's there. Oh, I love it though. It's so freaking good you guys. So I burned this candle around, I want to say like three or four times, and this is what the candle is looking like. We are getting close to the halfway point. So it's definitely been like a quick burn for me because I don't really burn candles for a really long time. I maybe burned this candle for two hours, and what I do like about the thick rope wicks is that it does pull out evenly and then also one thing to watch out for is since they are the thick rope wicks you are gonna have that mushroom top on the wicks so make sure before lighting your candles you are I mean your wicks to a fourth because you definitely don't want any soot or anything like that on your candle but so far like it's been pretty clean like we have no gross black pulling in into the wax itself Honestly, I just love this candle so much. I want to say the throw on this one is probably like around like a seven, like a six or seven. I have it in my bedroom and it's all right. Like it's definitely like a medium throw in my bedroom. So having this in a large like open concept type of room is definitely going to be like on the lighter side, but you would definitely be able to smell the candle still. But I thoroughly have enjoyed this candle so much and I have a backup of it But I think I'm gonna have to go get a couple more because I do love it. It's such a nice fresh tropical -y, citrusy fun Sweet scent. I also do not think this is a repackage from anything we've had in the past before I do definitely think this is a brand new scent from Bath & Body Works, which I am just happy about I hate when they do repackages of something and try to call it something else like we all know what it originally is but this one is a new scent I'm pretty sure of and I just love it so much you guys it definitely reminds me of the sparkling parisling from last year that came out like around the same time I believe um, but they are different but they just have some similar like some similarities to them so if I had to rate this candle I would definitely put it like around like a seven or eight it's a good candle is it the best candle that I've smelled before no um, but it's definitely a nice one to have in your collection oh, so good you guys oh. Alright guys, so that is going to be everything for today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed, and then if you guys have any other candles you would like me to review, um, leave them down in the comments below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.